Here's a Paul Joseph Watson article that was on InfoWars today. Russian war games response to simulated U.S. attack. The war games, which involved 130 combat aircraft, 70 ships, 5,000 tanks, 160,000 troops, and 320 tons of equipment, took place in Russia's far east near the border with China. The drill was a result of a snap order given by Vladimir Putin on Friday, which tasked the Russian military to achieve full combat readiness in a short time. And it had to do with an invasion by, a joint invasion by Japanese and U.S. forces. So these guys are getting ready for World War III, most likely in response if we start sending troops into Syria. Well, I guess if we send troops in the light, and we've already got troops in there undercover, but if we go into a proxy war with Russia, it could lead to World War III, but we're all worried about Trayvon Martin and the George Zimmerman verdict and the race war, which is starting to be er erupting from that. Let's go to an IRS story. This is out of CNS News. IRS employees ordered to send Tea Party cases to IRS's only Obama political employee em appointee. IRS employees were ordered by their superiors, including Lotus Lois Lerner, who was the lady who got up there and took the Fifth Amendment, who pleaded the fifth against self-incrimination to send certain Tea Party tax-exempt applications to the office of the IRS Chief Counsel, which is headed by William Wilkins, who at the time was the only Obama political appointee at the IRS. And they went up and said, oh, no, 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 we were never interested in doing that to Tea Party groups. We just wanted to look at these applications closely, but they were going to a direct political appointee. This has obvious... Um, ramifications with that election that took place in 2009 and 10 where you had these Tea Party groups not getting their nonprofit status therefore they couldn't do certain funding things that other left groups were doing so there we have it we've got the proof and uh, we're gonna go to a special report now it kinda has to do with this IRS scandal it has to do with the government uh, people want to do away with their government at this point there's a lot of people that have been telling saying they want to get rid of the IRS a lot of government officials a lot of politicians, especially on the right. Well, Colorado, and specifically North uh, Eastern Colorado, is looking to succeed, secede from the rest of Colorado, forming its own state. And they have a lot of different reasons for wanting to do it. And Gigi Ornette has got this report. Last month, InfoWars reported on the possible secession of Weld County from Colorado to form its own state of North Colorado. The idea of putting this on the ballot came from intrusive new regulations being placed on rural parts of Colorado. Here's a clip from my interview with Commissioner Mike Freeman. You guys are looking at forming another state, North Colorado, perhaps. It's a conversation that we've had with a number of other counties. Um, and I, you know, and there's a lot of issues that come into this as to the reasons why we're why we're considering doing this. But we would be doing this um, along with with other counties, and and it has nothing to do with whether we're home rule or statutory. What started this? Well, I think there's a number of things that started it. I think probably it's been it's been coming even for several years. But the commissioners went to the governor and um, asked for uh, if they could um, get a get a. Uh, 30-day stay on the wells, on all these wells that have been shut down in the South Platte, to um, not turn them back on permanently, but turn them back on for 30 days to allow um, farmers to be able to save their crops, and, and they were turned down by that. And so that kind of started it, and then as we got into this legislative session, I think that it, that it started probably with the gun laws that were passed. I think it went on from there with the, you know, the attack on oil and gas, and that's extremely important to what's going on in Weld County. And I think the thing that culminated it was the was Senate Bill 252, which was passed by the legislature and signed by the governor, which is an alternative energy bill. Ten counties met in the town of Akron, Colorado, to begin mapping the boundaries for the new state of North Colorado. I say 80% of the oil and gas revenue in the state of Colorado is coming out of northeastern Colorado. Weld, Yuma County, and some of the other counties. Commissioner Sean Conway said one of the immediate issues that would have to be addressed are the water rights between the newly formed state and Colorado. After all the local legalities are addressed, then the Colorado General Assembly and the U.S. Congress have to approve the secession. Check out Strategic Relocation, a documentary film featuring Joel Skousen, and learn all the safe places your family can retreat. Check out the film at InfoWarsShop.com. I'm Gigi Arnetta with an InfoWars Nightly News Alert.
So it'll be interesting to see what happens in Colorado over this. Will we have Northern Colorado, a 51st state of the union? And what'll be even more interesting to see is will they still allow the legalization of marijuana in that part of Northern Colorado um, in association or in disassociation with the rest of Colorado? Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.